Coming up next on Auto Show TV, Victoria discovers what's new with the 2014 Honda Civic at Majestic. Plus, she'll travel to Elmwood to show us the new 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Also, some great deals right now in our Best Buys feature and a car care tip from Tire Pros. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto. We're originating this morning from Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. In just a few minutes, we're gonna be checking out the new 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. But first, if you're in the market for a small sedan, you probably have the Honda Civic on your short list. And that's where we start this morning. Let's head to Majestic Honda in Lincoln. I'm Victoria Moran. Today, Auto Show TV takes a look at one of the leaders in the small sedan category, the 2014 Honda Civic. This morning, Auto Intelligence takes a full walk around with our Honda experts here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. The 2014 Honda Civic comes in several styles, including a coupe and a four-door, and there's a Civic Hybrid too. The Civic combines a smooth ride with its CVT transmission and lots of significant standard features. You can get a five-speed manual if you want, and the starting price is under $19,000, or you can go for all the options. Two things are for sure, it's a top safety pick and the resale value is outstanding. Casey Martin is joining us this morning. Casey, there's a lot of new things about the 2014, why don't you tell us about them? Yeah, there is. The, the 14 model Civic uh, Honda added a lot of new technology and a lot of new features to the car. Um, starting with the most important feature this year was the new CVT transmission, uh, which increased performance but has also increased uh, fuel economy. They also added a lot of technology that was in the uh, 13 model Accord, like the lane watch system that's uh, exclusive to the Honda lineup, uh, push start on the EX and above models, and a lot of other features as well. Great, so why don't we go ahead and start talking about the exterior of the car. How does that differentiate from other models? Uh, well, the 14 Civic outside of the sedan hasn't changed that much, but okay. the coupe has changed dramatically. There's uh, a new grille, new fenders, new wheels. Uh, the SI Civic, the sport model, has changed also as well, new spoilers. So Victoria, I'm going to walk down the side of the car here and show you some of the newer features. All right. The first one is the Honda Lane Watch, which again, this feature when you're in your lane driving, as soon as you put your right directional on, it gives you a screenshot on the 7 inch screen showing you your blind spot. Uh, next thing was the, on the EX models and above, they do have the keyless remote entry system and the electronic push start that does not require you to remove your key from your pocket. So for example, here we are, hand goes in. Because we're on the passenger side, all four doors unlock and you're in the car. When you leave, tap that button, doors are locked. Very convenient. I'm gonna unlock it again so I can show you, even though it's a small car, very roomy back seat. Yeah, I see that. Lots of leg room. Yes, it does. Now on this model, this is the EX, so it does come with the 16-inch uh, alloy wheel, but they actually have a 17-inch wheel on EXL, which is the leather model and above, and they actually have an 18-inch wheel now on the SI Sport model. Very nice. Let me show you the trunk. All right. What's nice on the EX and above models again is there is a button out here. Mm -hmm. So same as the car, you don't have to take your key out. There's a button to open the trunk. Great. And what's nice on the EX and the model again is they do have split 60-40 folding rear seats. So you don't have to hold the whole seat down. The LX model, you have to fold the entire seat. Well, for a small sedan, it does have a lot of room. It absolutely mm -hmm. does. Great, so why don't we take a look on the inside and you can show me all about that new technology. Let's jump in. All right. Now that we're inside the car, Victoria, I'll show you some of the features of the Civic. Okay. First of all, on the dashboard, you see the Econ button to the left, mm -hmm. which is the same as the 13 Civic, but that is really important. If you use that, you will get even better fuel efficiency. Uh, again, with the lane watch, it is part of the directional, which the car is not on yet, but when you turn the right directional on, the screen would turn automatically over to the lane watch. What we're going to do now is hit the button once, mm -hmm. and the car powers up for the usual stuff, the radio and the basics. I like it, how we have two dashboards here. This is nice. It really is. And when I hit the second one now, you'll see all of the major stuff, the most important stuff, is right up top, so you don't have to take your eyes off the road, because your main thing, of course, is your speed. You don't want to run out of gas, of course. Right. And um, the one on the right-hand side can be adjusted to different features as well, so you can see your average fuel economy. Um, you also have ma most of your major controls that run through the radio will be up there. Oh, great. So the good news is you don't have to take your eyes off the road to look down here. Very nice. Um, when we move on now, the biggest new uh, technology for the 14 is the seven inch uh, Honda Link radio interface. And what you can tell by looking at it, it is a fully touch screen radio. Mm -hmm. What's really amazing about it is it has an option 
for iPhone users at the time, but Android will be available eventually. Uh, you have a cable that will connect to an iPhone. Mm -hmm. it needs to be an iPhone 5 or newer. Uh, it has a USB output and an HDMI output. And if you look down here, you can see those two connectors. Mm -hmm. And when you do, it links your iPhone to your touchscreen. Okay. And basically, if you buy the application from Honda, which is not too expensive, this will basically turn into your phone on here, even navigation. Great. You can actually control your phone, like even talk to Siri through the controls on the steering wheel. Very nice. So even, again, it's a really cool technology feature, but it's a great safety feature as well because you don't have to touch your phone, mm -hmm. which a lot of states now it's illegal to have a phone in your hand. Mm -hmm. And you can actually still interface with your, with your phone while you're driving. As you can tell, most of the features are about linking it to a phone, but for your traditional audio stations, you still have your radio controls here. Now what's nice is in the navigation model, if you do buy the factory navigation model, they actually have HD radio as well, which is a new feature for the Civic. Very nice. But without it, you still have your traditional FM, you have your CD player, and all the features are the same. <laughs> Great, and this is your volume? Yes, it is. You can go up and down here, you actually swipe like you would on a touchscreen device. <laughs> There's also a quick mute button, which is nice. So that way you can easily mute it without having to change the volume. So when you're done talking, it goes right back to where it was set. Very nice. To me, it's a very key feature on a touchscreen. Yes. Now I've noticed that you have a lot to choose from on your lot. We do. Uh, we have a lot of Civic still in stock for 2014 model. We have more coming. We also have two great locations with even a larger inventory. So plenty of 14 Civics to go around. Great. Well, thank you for today. You're very welcome, Victoria. <laughs>
but maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. At Cerrone's, like new Chevy Cruze was $20,000, now they're only $13,900. And these are Cruze LTs. Power equipment, Bluetooth, and 38 miles per gallon. Chevy Cruze only $13,900. See them all at CerroneGM.com. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced, and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles, and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. Remember, Chevy Cruze at 13.9 gets 38 miles per gallon, a five-star crash rating, and the balance of GM's 100,000-mile warranty. Want leather and a sunroof? Just a little bit more. See the Cerrones on Route 1 in South Attleboro. You'll be glad you did. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. As always, joined by Jim Melvin from Melvin's Tire Pros. Today we're going to talk about brakes. They don't make them today like they used to. Well, I'll tell you, that is one adage that really, John, doesn't apply to cars. They make them so much better than they were 15, 20 years ago. Things like mufflers, uh, radiators, just less dramatically longer. Now, as far as brakes go, you know, the brakes last better, but brakes are one of the last bastions of hard part replacement that, boy, we still do quite regularly. So how long should brakes typically last us? A lot of it's going to be predicated on the type of driving you do. If I had to give you an approximation, I would tell you the average set of brakes will last anywhere between 20 to 30,000 miles. It seems to me rotors have to be replaced more frequently than years ago, and I know they're lighter. Is that part of it? Very astute of you. Yes, they are. What happens is this. In the car manufacturer's uh, quest for fuel economy, what they do is most parts today are made to be lighter to get right. better fuel economy. Now, that being said, brake rotors are lighter, they're thinner. They don't dissipate heat as well, and they have a propensity to warp. So what happens is in the old days where you would machine resurface rotors, the vast majority of the time, because they are lighter and smaller, it's a matter of replacing the rotors as well as the pads when you do your basic routine brake job. So when you go in and you're gonna get a brake job and, and the guy says, well, we really need to do the rotors too, he's not just trying to upsell you. You're correct. What happens is this. We hate to use the word disposable, but as far as brake rotors can go, more often than not, with a couple exceptions in like the light truck realm, it's gonna be a matter of replacing the brake pads and the rotors. And folks, these guys here at Melvin's Tire Pros do this every day. We would love to be your brake mechanics. What we'd love to have you do is stop in today to any one of our AAA approved auto service centers or check us out online at tireprosri.com for great money saving coupons to do your brakes. And remember, Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires or having your brakes replaced is never a hassle. Good morning. We're back at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence where they sell a lot of SUVs. Hands down, the most popular is the Jeep Grand Cherokee. And today, Auto Intelligence will see if the new 2015 Grand Cherokee is right for you. The 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee has garnered top reviews in the highly competitive midsize SUV category because of its on and off-road performance, user-friendly tech features, high quality interior, and standard equipment. There's plenty of room and comfort for the family and some fun for the driver. Let's find out more here at Elmwood Auto Group, Auto Show TV's Jeep experts. There it is, the award-winning, class-leading 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV ever. The new Grand Cherokee has class-leading fuel economy, class-exclusive best-in-class towing, class-exclusive air ride suspension. This is the Overland model. What makes the Overland exclusive is a lot of soft, supple materials on the inside. But the exterior, it gives you 20-inch 20 20 inch wheels, chrome door handles, chrome mirrors, chrome grill inserts, 
And this particular doesn't, model doesn't have it, but it also has the optional forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control. The Jeep Grand Cherokee is loaded with safety features, some you can see and some you can't see. This vehicle has front and rear crumple zones, which is design, designed to absorb the energy of an, of an impact. It also has side impact beams inside the doors, again, to help protect from side intrusions. This vehicle also has a lane departure warning system, which the vehicle will actually sense if it's leaving the lane that it's traveling in. It'll give you an audible alert and the steering wheel will vibrate as well. As we move to the back of the vehicle, we'll open up the back seat here and you can see that there's plenty of space in here. These seats fold down and it's a 60-40 split folding seat. You can fold down one side of the seat or both sides for maximum storage space. There's also heated seats in the back. The controls are located on the back of the center console and there's also a 110 volt power outlet located there as well. Down below here are the parking sensors. So the parking sensors coupled with the rear backup camera make it a very safe vehicle, especially when you're in reverse. This vehicle is equipped with a trailer hitch. Now this allows you to tow up to 7,400 pounds, which is a class exclusive. That's the most towing capacity of any vehicle in its class. And it also comes with a seven pin and a three pin um, built right into the bumper. Now let's open up the back hatch. This back hatch is a power hatch, which can be opened three ways. Right from the key fob, from a button located on the inside of the uh, cargo area or overhead from a driver and passenger position. This is the subwoofer located in the back of the um, cargo area. This vehicle has a 19 speaker sound system with a 500 watt amplifier. Oh, so, so it sounds good. It's, it's, it's a concert hall inside. <laughs> now on the inside, Victoria, you're gonna notice a lot of soft supple materials, a lot of wood grain, a lot of leather, on the left hand side against the driver's side door is three buttons uh, and that's your memory seating. You can set your driver's seat, exterior mirror positions, radio stations and your um, steering wheel to a preset position and press S1. Now you're set in. Go ahead and press the start button twice and let's power this up. Okay, we're now powered up. Let's talk about the class exclusive eight and a half inch uh, entertainment system here. Standard setting is going to be radio, AM, FM, and satellite radio. Heated seat controls are located on the next button. It's also equipped with a heated steering wheel. So next button is for your climate control. You can control the passenger and driver individually, or you can sync them. Next button is navigation. The navigation is very simple to use, very user-friendly. And the next button is your Uconnect apps. We're not connected right now, but you can connect to the internet here. You can actually subscribe and make this vehicle a Wi-Fi hotspot. This vehicle has one of the most advanced four-wheel drive systems. This four-wheel drive system is a full-time system that requires no driver input. It'll transfer power front to back, side to side, and diagonally as well. This also has a select train four-wheel drive system where you can select snow, sand, mud, or rock for off-roading. This is also where you would control your four-corner air suspension. And as I mentioned before, the air suspension has a few benefits. You can lower the air suspension for easy entry and exit for either little kids, shorter people, or elderly people. While you're driving in the automatic mode, the air suspension will lower and uh, maximize fuel economy by uh, lowering it to the most aerodynamic position. And of course, you can raise the suspension when you're off-roading. You actually get a, an extra two and a half inches of ground clearance while you're off-roading. Sounds great. And last but not least, Victoria, let's talk about the engines in the all-new Grand Cherokee. This particular model is equipped with the Pentastar V6, which is a Ward's Automotive 10 Best engine. It's also available with the all-new EcoBoost diesel V6 and the legendary Hemi V8. Both the diesel and the Hemi will tow up to 7,400 pounds, which is the most in its class. And the diesel gets a class exclusive 700 mile driving range on the highway. Now is a great time during our Jeep celebration event. The 2014s are moving fast. The 2015s are arriving daily. So come on down to Elmwood Auto Group and get a great deal.
Coming up, some great deals on SUVs and crossovers. You're watching Auto Show TV. Sakuchi is the name to drive. Sakuchi Honda is your destination for a hassle-free car buying experience. Home of the exclusive pre-owned one price program, our deals are already pre-negotiated and the discounts are already taken off. You just come in and get the best price up front. And right now we have pre-owned Hondas starting at just $83.95. Sakuchi Honda in Middletown or online at sakuchi.com. The best deal made easy. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. More Auto Show TV Best Buys now. Let's look at deals on SUVs and crossovers. If you're looking for a smaller crossover, Subaru has the Crosstrek XV. Anchor Subaru has the 2014 Crosstrek starting at $21. 490. That is a terrific price. We just reviewed the Crosstrek here on the show and we loved it. And at Anchor Subaru, they include the Anchor Lifetime Assurance Plan. You may not want to lease, so here's a terrific price on a 2014 Nissan Rogue Select with all-wheel drive. Anchor Nissan has it priced out at just 21417 This is the new Rogue redesigned for 2014. There's a lot of features that the previous Rogue did not have. That's a great price at Anchor. The top selling small SUV crossover in America is the Honda CRV, and we found a nice deal on the CRV LX model. It's $199 a month, which is $79 down. That's a 36 month lease, or get 0.9% financing for 60 months if you'd rather buy it. That's at Majestic Honda in West Warwick and Lincoln. We love the Buick Encore, and when we find a great deal on it, it always makes best buys. At Cerrone's in South Attleboro, lease a 2014 Encore for just $199 a month. It comes with nav and the convenience package. It's a 39-month lease for the much-acclaimed Encore at Cerrone's. Also, got to put the RAV in the mix. Colonial Toyota in Smithfield comes through again. Get the RAV4 for just $235 a month with just $235 down. That's a 36-month lease. Comes with lots of standard features. That's a nice low monthly payment for the RAV4 from Colonial Toyota. If you've been waiting for the new 2015 Subaru Forester, Anchor Subaru has them now. And right now they're offering the 2015 Forester 2.5i at just $21,790. What a price. They have lots of trim levels and colors to choose from at Anchor, and it includes the Anchor Lifetime Assurance Plan. We had a couple of minivans that made the cut. If you're looking at the Chrysler Town & Country and just waiting for the right time to pull the trigger, this may be it. Elmwood is leasing the 2014 Town & Country Touring L model for $1.99 a month for 36 months. Your family will love it. That's a really good deal at Elmwood. The minivan that Auto Intelligence just loves as well is the Honda Odyssey. Majestic Honda has a nice deal on the Odyssey LX model, just $79 down and $267 a month for 36 months. Or you can buy for 1.9% financing for 60 months. That's a, such a great family vehicle. You need to drive it to appreciate it. And one truck made the cut. Elmwood in East Providence has a superb deal on a 2014 Ram 1500. This is the Quad Cab Express. You can lease for $199 a month for 36 months. Some have named it Truck of the Year. The Ram 1500, $199 a month at Elmwood Auto Group. That's Auto Show TV's Best Buys. For more info, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. So if you've been convicted of drunk driving, either in Rhode Island or Mass, the judge or the DMV may order you to install one of these in your vehicle. It's an ignition interlock device. I'm sure you've heard of them. You blow into the mouthpiece in order to start your car. But we wonder just how these work and if they're reliable. We're at Barrington Auto Service, one of the local installers of these devices, and this is Michelle Fontaine. She's from New England Interlock, and you are the local licensee for the Lifesaver. 
product. Yes. So this is it. It's an ignition interlock device. It's installed in vehicles to prevent people from drinking and driving. So how does it work? All right, it's hardwired into the ignition system, and I can show you right now. Okay. And this is a demo model, so we can we can show you how. All right, it works. the wait light is on. It's heating up. The fuel set. Uh, cell to take a test. Now it's asking for a blow. Okay. Take a nice deep breath. I got to say the word do and blow for five seconds. Okay. Okay. And I passed. So you passed. So, so I'd be able to start my car. The car will start. And if you fail, it would not allow you to start. It would go to fail. It would go back to wait and allow you to rinse your mouth out with water if it was some kind of a contaminant like mouthwash or something. And then you can take another test. Okay. Now, what about people who decide, well, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to rip it out somehow. What happens? Well, the device is pretty smart. It detects, it comes up in the events log that power has been disconnected. It comes up that the car has been, the engine has been started without a test being taken. And, okay. and it also will put you in an early recall when, when it detects that. So you have to bring it in and, and to have it looked at, inspected, and downloaded and have the car, you know, reported. And as far as the the legal limits, it's not really its not really calibrated to the legal limit, it's, it's, it's any amount of alcohol essentially, correct? It, it picks up any alcohol, but for Rhode Island it's set at 0.03 for a fail, and you know, of course it's 0.08, so it's well under the limit, so it's really abstinence. Michelle, nobody wants to have to deal with this, we don't want anybody drinking and driving. There's also an expense involved in, in all of this too. Yeah, the standard install is $85, and then it's roughly about $85 a, a month. Michelle, what happens if somebody gets the bright idea of having somebody else blow into the device for them? Well, it has a rolling retest feature. Five minutes after the car is started, it asks for another test. And then it's every 15 to 45 minutes after that. So it's a random chip, chip so you don't know how, how often it's going to ask. So what happens if you fail at that point? Does so, the car just automatically shut off? Or? Yeah, no, it doesn't shut off because that would be a hazard. Right. The horn starts um, blowing and the device will ask for another test. Bottom line, these are no fun for people, right? Yeah, no, they're not. You want to try to prevent it, getting one as much as you can. Rhode Island lawmakers have recently passed and the governor has signed a new law that requires judges and magistrates to mandate the use of one of these ignition interlock devices on a first drunk driving offense of 0.15 BAC or over for three months to a year in addition to all the other penalties. They may also require this device now on 0.08 offenses. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Thanks again to everybody here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence for having us this morning. If you have any other questions about the new Jeep Grand Cherokee, you can certainly go online to elmwoodcdjr.com. I'm John Coletto. Have a safe week on the roads this week. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.